this video we're going to work on the definition and a few examples of connected sets. If you want to support the channel, you can do so in different ways. You can either donate and become a member on Coffee to get access to exclusive content. If, in addition to that content, you also want to get mathematics merchandising, then you can become a subscriber on Patreon. And if all you want is the merchandising, then you can buy t-shirts in our store. Let's continue with the video. We're going to start with the definition of connected sets. And this definition is usually a bit complicated because it's not as direct. It's defined with a negation. To define connected sets, we first need to define what it means to have a separation of a set. Basically, a separation is just two sets that form our entire space and that are disjoint. For example, if these two sets form a space X, then we can clearly separate it as this set, let's call it U, and this other set, let's call it B. So obviously, U and B are disjoint, and their union is our entire space. We do need one more condition. We need these two sets to also be open in X. This is a separation. And whenever a separation does not exist, and that is what I meant, by saying that the definition was a negation, if there is no separation, then we say that X is connected. This would be an example of a set that is not connected. So basically, connected sets are those that consist of only one glove, not many like here. There is also an additional definition that could be useful for some examples. We say that X is connected if and only if the only open sets in X are X and the empty set. So immediately from here we get an example, given some set X, if we consider the trivial topology, well it's obvious that this topology satisfies this property. The only open sets are the empty set and the set X itself, and so this space is connected. Now let's consider the following space. Let's suppose X is the interval minus 1 one. Well, for this set, what I could do is define a to be minus 1, 0, and b as 0, 1. And then for these two sets, what I have is that a intersection b is empty, and a union b is x. So it's the minus one, one. And so this would tell me that we have a separation. And so our space is not connected. Is this right? Well, let me tell you something. It's not. Try and find the error yourself. Now I will tell you what is wrong with this. There was one extra thing I said that was very important and is that these sets have to be open. Well, obviously here I am considering X with the subspace topology. So let's check if our sets are open. Well, A is minus 1, 1, intersection minus 2, 0. Given that this is our set X and this set is open, in the real line with the standard topology, then we have that A is open. And the set B? Well, for the set B, there doesn't exist an interval AB open such that B is equal to minus 1, 1 intersection this interval. And even more, X minus B is minus 1, 0. And this is A. So given that this is an open set, we actually have that B is closed. So no, this is not a separation. In fact, minus 1, 1 is connected. If our set X is minus 1, 0, 
Union. Zero one. What do you think? Is this space connected? Now I can take a to be minus one zero. B to be zero one. And now I have that a intersection B is empty and a union B is the whole set. So is this a separation of x? What do you think? Well, we fell for this trap before, so now let's check that a and b are open. This is going to be easy because a can be written as the space x intersection minus 2, 0. And given that minus 2, 0 is open in the real line with the standard topology, then a is open in x and b can be written as the space intersection 0, 2. And again, 0, 2 is open in the real line with the standard topology. And so, P is open in X. So yes, given that A and B are open, and because we have this relation, then we can say that X is not connected. In the next video, we will see some of the properties that connected spaces have.